I'm going to show you guys a wrestling technique that you can use to defend the guillotine choke from the feet. We'll start from the feet when you go for a double leg takedown. This is my lovely assistant, Mr. Tim Huber, Mr. Lieutenant Tim Huber. Let's get started. We're shooting in and we get stuck right with the, this, this guillotine position where you start to go around. We want to have a good reaction because a lot of times I see guys when they get caught in a guillotine, they almost freeze up and they get here, they stop and then he finishes up, okay? And so you don't want to stop. You want to continue to make angles. You want to continue to drive through so that he's not able to sit there and cinch everything up. So we shoot, so kind of pour a little bit. So we shoot in, boom, we get in here. He starts to get the guillotine. The biggest thing that I can advise you to do is first, if you can wrist fight, that's great, but a lot of times it's really tough to do right off the bat. If we can, heads up and step to a side, okay? The head up even just in itself, if you get caught in a guillotine, like have your buddy in, in training, just let him put the guillotine around and then just straighten your head up. Look what it's doing to his shoulder. It's so hard to finish this position. And this allows us to either like double up on the wrist, and this also allows us to do some different counters from this position. Again, uh, a drill, a couple drills you guys can do is first, shoot in for the double, your partner gets into the position, step forward, double up on the wrist, we can step to the side, get a takedown. That's gonna help get this motion going. So as soon as you feel someone go around the neck, we're getting our head up. Now a couple of defenses that we can use, let's say we shoot in for the double, he starts to go, step. So head comes up, and we're gonna take our lead leg and step across. And from here, guys, this is an easy double right to the side, okay? So we can shoot off, right there. And because of where his body's locked in position, it's an easy lift. Another really easy one, especially if you're not really a wrestler, if you, have, if you don't have a good takedown base, something that you can do is when we step in, we shoot that head up, step across, and get a single leg, okay? So if he's here locked around the neck, let's say you can't even get the head up. If you step hard to the outside and grab the single leg, if he holds on, he's gonna just get dumped over, okay? But again, you're all about, you're trying to make angles and go around the body. Whatever you do, do not go towards the grip. And this isn't unlike the, the actual ground position, where let's say that Tim was getting a guillotine. My job is to get over to the other side of the body, right? We don't want to go to that direction. So, it's a basic principle. If you can, if you get caught in guillotine, especially standing, try to get your head up and your shoulders and your chest out. This will put a lot of torque on the shoulder. Like I said, even if you can just get this, a lot of times you're in a better spot than you would be if you were to freeze up down here. If we can make our angles to the side, we can get the single body lock, we can even, like I said, big double off to the side. So just a couple of techniques off of that sort of arching of the, the back and shooting the head up.